From troubles of the world I turn to ducks Beautiful comical things Sleeping or cold Their heads beneath white wings By water cool Or finding curious things to eat in various mucks beneath the pool Oh ducks are beautiful things <laughs> Basil, what's it today then? It's uh, straight actually. Oh, it's cheese. Oh, my favourite. You say that about everything. You don't have to be so happy. <laughs> be so happy? I'm always happy. You see, this is my favourite, and so is everything else. Just as long as I got the clothes on my back, my ukulele and my harmonica, and all of these ducks, I'm as happy as Larry. Wish I could say the same. Well, why can't you? Oh, nothing. Just an argument with my dad. I was awake. In bed. I heard his footsteps up the stairs. He knocked on the door. I tried to stifle it out by putting the pillow over my ears. He burst in, drunk and angry. He beat me and beat me until my arms were purple. He told me to say I fell. <laughs> Clumsy me. There's a job going down at the care home. I'm thinking of taking it, I'll get some more independence, but my dad doesn't think it's a good idea. Oh, well I know what will cheer you up. I'll play you the song that I wrote this morning. Oh, oh ready? actually, chest up. I've got... And we had this lovely young man coming and doing the bingo. But you can tell he wasn't very experienced because he said to fat ladies, which you know is 88. But then he said it were 23 and I was like, that's not right. So I realises this, gets out me card and I've only got it inside. Sticks me hand up, shouts out bingo as you do. And I want a lovely big tin of Danish biscuits. You know what I'm like with Danish biscuits. <laughs> Didn't get out to Mavis, mind. Fat cow. Oh, shut up your back. She don't need no biscuits anyhow. She looks like one of them Santas there but more at Christmas. Come to think of it, she's got the beard too. Shut up! Oh, your father got us one of those uh, me pod and iPod things. <laughs> I can't make her tell of it. It might as well all be written in Japanese. That's nice. Shut up! Right, this is Mrs Potchard. You'll be looking after her. She needs her medicines three times a day. Don't worry about your CRB check. It's not important. Mrs. Potchard! Mrs. Potchard! Oh, hello. This is Drake. He'll be looking after you. What happened to the last lad? He interfered with you. Do you remember? Oh, yes. Oh, you read Emily Bronte? Oh, yes, eh? Wuthering Heights. Eh? What a nice young man, all intelligence, reading literature. I read books too, Grant. Magazines don't count, Jess. Drake? Jessica? Drake? Jessica? Granny Potchard. Mary! Aye! Shut up, Mavis! What are you doing here? This happens to be my grandmother. What are you doing here? This happens to be my job. <coughs> and? So it's my job to look after I'm her. perfectly capable of doing that by myself. Really? Get out. Make me. Hi, Chester. Hello, Gertrude. It's uh, Jessica, actually. Listen, I wanted to ask you something. 
Go ahead. Promise you'll keep it a secret? Ah, well, I can't promise that. Might accidentally let it slip to Malcolm over here. <laughs> You're right, Malcolm. Well, it's about Drake, actually. What, you mean that nice young boy who brings me sandwiches? He's a nice kid. Yeah, well, that's what I wanted to see you about. He isn't. Ah, oh, border dash and piffle. I'm sure he's not that bad. Maybe he's not all that bad. No, he isn't Chester. I swear, he's trying to steal my granny away from ah, me. poppycock! I don't believe this. He brings you sandwiches and then you stick up for him. No one ever listens to me. Chester! Hello. Drake? Jessica? Drake? Jessica! Chester! Mammy! Ah, Shut up, up Mavis! You're trying to steal my nan, Drake! Bullshit! You're trying to turn Chester against me! He looks quite nice. He's got quite pretty eyes. Chester's my friend! Maybe. Yeah, well, he's mine too! Maybe. Why don't you just piss off and leave me, my family and my friends alone? Why are you making such a big deal out of this? I'm caring for your nan because it's my job! But guys, calm down! Keep right. out of this, Chester! I think I... I hate you! I love you. Look, we don't want any trouble. Yeah, well, your nan doesn't want any trouble. KMT! When God had finished the stars in a wall of coloured suns, he turned his mind from big things to fashion little ones. Beautiful tiny things he made, and then he made the comical ones in case the minds of men should stiffen and become dull, humorless and grey.